I feel like there's something special about getting, like, stabbed in the armpit. Like, versus getting stabbed anywhere else. I heard this topic, like, spoken about on some other podcast um, that is probably, uh, like, 500 times bigger than mine. Um, but I don't care. So I'm just going to talk about it because I found it, it, it lingered in my mind, uh, so to speak. Like... I mean, there's something about getting stabbed in the face, of of course, but like stabbed in the armpit. I mean, I don't know. There's something horrible about it. Like you feel so vulnerable in the armpit, of all places. It's like getting stabbed in the, uh, you know, the rectum. Uh, it's like getting stabbed. <laughs> I feel I feel like those are the worst places to get stabbed. Um, like most uncomfortable places obviously it's always going to be uncomfortable to get stabbed uh not that i know because i've never been stabbed but um you know what i mean like theoretically uh, it seems uncomfortable to be stabbed in those two places so uh things to unavoid this week uh, not getting stabbed in the rectum or the armpits um set those as your 2024 goals um because it, we're closing in on 2024 so might as well set the goals now you know what i mean um but anyways um i'd like to welcome you to the 36th episode of the clifters podcast um i don't know why i started like this but um i'm just gonna keep keep on topic um i feel like if you want to get stabbed i mean not that you actually want would want to i don't think anyways unless you're like um wanting to claim claim it as a video uh, or something on on like a live stream live stream on twitch or a uh, kick or um, maybe get a viral clip out of it um but like getting stabbed in your traps i feel like you know the like the muscle that just pops out of your uh, behind your neck sort of and uh, actually behind your neck but you know like it's standing behind you like that's almost what the trap is doing on on some people like it's, it's just it's standing behind you like it's like it's part of you like it's a part of your mu muscle it's, it's it's a muscle on on your um you know human vessel um but it's still still it's it's back there you know it's standing behind you just like a stalker like that's what the trap is doing um so i feel like s stabbed in the trap is like if you s if you just n n don't hit anything else but the actual muscle i feel like that will be pretty cool um also you can make a banging banging like um i don't know like a future track uh, from it like or like a maybe a a um i don't know 21 savage one uh or something like stabbed in a trap you can like point at your muscle in the video like point behind you almost um but um no but also it has double meaning so i've i've thought this through these are these are like my uh i would say these are my shower thoughts like i thought about this in the shower um last time i had a shower uh, so uh, I I thought it was pretty funny, um, but uh, you know, uh, not everyone is gonna think that obviously. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool um, because the trap, you know, I'm I'm gonna sound so white because I want I want to, not that I'm, I mean I am also, but uh, also I want to sound as white as possible explaining this. Um, so you know, stabbed in the trap, you know, you can. Obviously, it's the stab wound, like you being stabbed in your muscle, uh, the traps. Um, but it also means, like, uh, I guess people refer to the trap as neighborhoods, right? Like, the hood, I guess. Uh, like, a crass neighborhood is like the trap, you know. It's... Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this bit further. Uh, I think we're done here. I think we're absolutely done here. Uh, so I wanted to go through 
my new my new uh, not my new actually but um uh, i've been i've been for the longest struggling to have some kind of winter shoe like because it's winter now and we have a snow uh, where i'm at so um thank you thank you for the congratulations for that um because it's it's not it's fun right because it's really fun um i don't want to i mean i don't i don't know where i was going but anyways i had a little bit of a meltdown right there but uh as i said i was i've been for the longest time looking for like a winter shoe that i can wear in the winter that i'm and i haven't found any so i don't know i've been living in this country for like fucking 26 years so uh, i don't i don't know like it's it's a little bit weird that i haven't found a winter shoe yet i've i've been looking at like timberlands or whatever but i i don't feel like they they go with much like sure you can have timbs and jeans but other than jeans what what does Tim's go with? Slacks? I don't want to wear slacks. And I don't wear jeans that often. Like, sometimes I wear jeans, obviously. Because they're jeans. Everyone likes jeans, right? Uh, except those who are allergic to jeans, I think. Uh, I think that's a... Is, I don't know if that's an allergy, but... I think they're... I mean... Thinking of how preposterous some some allergies are, I wouldn't be surprised to see someone allergic to jeans, the fabric. Um, so yeah, I don't think those are an option. And I've been looking at like, you know, Dr. Martins or whatever. Uh, I was gonna say I've been looking at Argus's a bit, but um, no, I'm I'm gonna skip that. Um, because it's barely even funny. Uh, but Dr. Martins, I don't, I don't know where to buy those. And I want to try them out first. To see if I get fucking... Um, to see if they tear up my foot first. Um, so that I don't, you know, buy them. And I'm, I'm the type of person that if I buy something and it doesn't turn out good. Um, I don't return it. I just put it put it in some wardrobe somewhere. And just rediscover it like 10 years later. And... Then maybe throw it away uh, because I've had it for ten years at that point. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't, I don't like to return stuff. Like, get a fucking get a new package or tape the take like duct tape or whatever. Like, um, try to make the previous one whole. Uh, it doesn't seem that fun to me. Um, and it doesn't seem worth uh i feel like either so i'll just i'll just keep and pay for it um i don't i don't care so that that's why i feel like buying a pair of dr martens you know nazi shoes uh, as as some would call it um i wouldn't because they're pr quite pricey tend to be uh anyways i think they are because of the because of the brand, you know, um, branding is a thing, right? Um, but anyways, so I thought, I think, um, I think I thought I, <laughs> I'm trying to go over grammar and gra grammatic, uh, things, uh, over here. Um, not that I know English grammar. I don't, uh, so don't, don't quote me on anything. All right. Don't quote me on literally anything. But anyways, uh, as I said, I think they're quite pricey, so I wouldn't want to buy them because they're just going to get thrown in the wardrobe and, and thrown away somewhere uh, because I don't, because they probably won't be comfortable to wear. Um, that's what I think anyways. Uh, so make, make it what you will. But anyways, uh, now I've said but anyways like 15 times, so I'm going to stop. Um, so I had these... Uh, added as form 84s, form low 84s, uh, like green and black and white, uh, like cream white. And um, I wore them once, uh, like in the start of November. And I was like, you know what? 
these shoes are pretty comfortable like they don't have they don't let through a lot of cold uh, so I, f I feel warm because they have both like shoelaces and they have a velcro strap so like they do have both those things so the shoes are pretty tight uh, which makes um, which makes my foot odor uh, t like t to the brought up to the max I guess uh, if we're gonna count negatives um, but if we're gonna bring up positives it actually keeps my feet warm um, and I think that's that's a good thing when it comes to shoes that you want to wear during winter uh, during winter I don't I don't know how I want to say winter winter I guess yeah um, that's all I want to say. That's the first time I'm I'm saying the word so uh, out loud, I guess, I, out loud uh, in English. Um, so hooray for me! You know, can I get a applause, please? Can I get a applause, please? So um, I had thank you by the way, um, or don't. Or not, thank you. Uh, depending on if you did it or not, um, you know. Who ca who cares? Um, so I had I have those shoes, and I've been wearing them for like a week, two weeks now, um, and I've been wearing them more and more, and I've realized that they are actually quite comfy. Uh, so those have been those are my new winter shoes, I guess. Forum Low Eighty Fours uh, by Adidas. Um, don't use don't use my advice. Don't use them as winter shoes yourself. I would say um, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I don't know why I wouldn't recommend it, but they don't seem like a winter shoe. So um, I just wear them because I don't have any winter shoes at the moment, and those are the closest ones I'll I have to getting comfy in the winter. So that's why I'm wearing them. Um, so yeah, that's that's been a big, big part of my life lately. Lately, um, another thing I think, you know, I've been watching a lot of, uh, like even more hockey. I think, I feel like, anyways, because um, when it comes to sports, my mind only seems to circle around hockey, uh, ice hockey nowadays. But I don't want to bore you. Um, you know, uh, I instead wanted to talk about something that. It piqued my interest. I saw someone's username um, in my own language, so this is um, directly translated, uh, if you will. Uh, so it's not. I mean, it doesn't sound. It sounded better in my language, uh, to be honest. But it sounds kind of funny in um, English too, if you directly translate. And it's uh, uh, Frog Balls. I think that's a great username. Um, and that's what I want to spend like uh, seven minutes, the remaining seven minutes of this podcast to discuss. I wanted to discuss with you the most important topic of this week, which is frog balls. And um, those are ref this is uh, like it's referred to um, the testicles of frogs. So frogs or toads. Um, Toad balls works as well, uh, I think, but frog balls has another, like another echelon of of catchiness to it uh, that I would, um, that I like a lot, that I appreciate, and I find I find uh, amusing, uh, I would say. So, yeah, I mean, I, I saw that username uh, somewhere. I think it was on. I mean, don't judge me here, but I, I saw it on Snapchat. You know this this the this app that the youth uses um, for um, I mean pictures of your rectum and stuff. Um, I think it's used mainly for that. I think it's mainly used for, uh, and this is nothing like you know, medical. Like it's no uh, doctor exam. It's just um, you know rectum pictures to one another um, as I understand it anyways correct me in the comments if I'm uh, if I'm completely out cycling somewhere um, now 
I saw it on there. I was like, I was I was floored. I was flabbergasted by the um, the. I mean, the feeling, the sensation of high that I felt when I saw that username. Uh, it was it was something completely astonishing, and uh, I've never felt that feeling before. Um, and it was it was um, it was an eye-opening moment, I would say, and uh, it was very cool to see that username alive in real flesh, like in my own flesh, with my own eyes attached to my human vessel. Um, I saw this username on the app that the um, that the people call Snapchat. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing more to it than that. I mean, I I guess people get might get a picture in their head of what what um what that would look like. Uh, you know. Uh, by the way, I'm moving around here, so um, don't mind the don't mind the um, audio quality here for a bit. Uh, I have to get my my charging cable for the PC for my laptop. Uh, I hadn't prepared that much, obviously. Um, I'm a lousy bastard, and uh, I don't I don't prepare topics. I don't prepare anything, really. I just sit down and record and write down a few things that I want to speak my mind about um, before beforehand. Uh, and now I'm I'm completely out of breath. Uh, so just I think we're gonna take. Like um, I think we're gonna take the remaining time of this uh, podcast to just kind of meditate, and uh, I want to teach you how to how to breathe because I don't think I don't think people breathe um, enough. I think it's a big reason of why people are dying in the world uh, is people not breathing, um, you know properly so i'm just gonna take one or two seconds to breathe if you want to breathe with me then we can breathe there we go now i'm all set and ready again uh, so uh, those are i mean i don't think i've even written down any more topics than that no that was that was absolutely it and um yeah i mean whatever whatever you know um i think i just i, I was i was flabbergasted again flabbergasted i was flabbergasted um by a bastard and um i, I, I was just checking my notes on my app on my phone on my on my app on my phone on my in my hand um and i um saw that you know you know when apps make changes like it's just it's always um triggering i would say i saw this uh update on twitter i think this week uh which annoyed the living shit out of me uh which was the uh thing where they have made the like and repost buttons a lot smaller like a lot smaller like so when when i'm scrolling through twitter i always when i press like like a retweet i actually then i accidentally press the actual tweets so i get to the tweet and then when i head to the back button um they have sort of updated my feed uh, I don't lose the tweet, that's not the problem, but I have a certain amount of tweets every update. So I go through those and then I don't want to go through anymore. And when I'm on the last tweet of my, you know, selected feed or whatever you want to call it, um, and I press the like button and then I want to get out of Twitter because that's m enough mind rot enough brainwash enough like negativity for the day um that's where i go i mean that's if i want if i want negativity in my life twitter is the place uh, you, you go or or reddit uh, i would say so when i go to twitter that's 
like when it's the last post and I press like and I get a new feed of negativity in my life I don't I don't need it like thank you but no thank you I don't need it um, so that was a little bit of a an un- minor annoyance um, this week um, but anyways um, I think that's going to be it for this podcast um, this episode 36 uh, I want to thank you for listening uh, not watching uh, I guess it is watching but mainly listening um, and I want to wish you a nice week a pleasant day and a nice evening morning afternoon uh, mid noon noon whatever and uh, I want to I want to um, say um, subscribe like this video clip this or don't clip this and uh, take care of your loved ones and I'll see you sometime one time one more time before the end year ends I think um, that's a promise I'm gonna try and stick into um, so yeah uh, bye bye